Hi, and welcome to Yoga for All Ages. I'm Susan Foxley, a registered yoga instructor and a certified life coach. Today, we're gonna do a slow flow yoga workout that focuses on your core. If your core is strong, you're strong. Let's get started. We're gonna start in Shavasana, resting. Go ahead and just rest on your back. Beautiful. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Relax your mind, just decompress. Completely surrender into the earth. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands and fingers. Just feel the rise and fall of your belly, the expansion and contraction of your ribs. Go ahead and let go of your legs, your feet and toes, and just surrender. Give yourself this, this yoga practice just to go deeply inside yourself. Let the rest of the world fall away. Really nice. Let's go ahead and open up our eyes and just hug your right knee into your chest, please. Give your right knee a big hug. Really nice, keeping your eyes soft, your cheeks soft, your jaw soft. Just anchor your left leg into the earth as you hug your right knee a little deeper. Nice, and then just straighten that right leg out, please, and hug your left leg into your chest. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Ground your right leg as you hug your left knee a little more and just focus on your inhales and focus on your exhales. Really nice. And then just straighten both legs out. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your hands and fingers. And go ahead and open up your eyes if they were closed and hug your knees into your chest. And we're gonna go ahead and focus right away on the core. Bring your hands behind your head and bring your right elbow to your left knee and straighten your right leg. Really nice. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and bring your left elbow to your, beautiful, to your right knee. Beautiful, and then the other side. And see if you can come up a little more with your shoulder blades off the ground. Really nice, and if you wanna lower your leg down, it works your abs a little bit more, and then let's go ahead and other side. Really nice. And then let's go ahead and alternate. And let's just move a little quicker. Go ahead and switch, and then switch, and then switch. Beautiful, and then switch. And go at your own pace. If this is too much for you, then just go slow down. And if it's not enough for you, go ahead and speed up back and forth. You can work quickly, you can work slowly. Just always honor yourself. Go within yourself and see what feels right. Move slowly or move quickly. Breathing deeply, loosening up your hips. Beautiful. Breathing deeply. Really nice. Good work. And then hug your knees, please. And then from here, let's go ahead and interlace the thumbs over our head. Stretch deeply. Bring the legs up to the sky. And then from here, lower your legs down straight and right, hover right over the ground. Now, if there's, some, if there's some lower back issues, please take your hands right underneath your tailbone. Bend your knees to your chest. Come back up with your legs, please. And go ahead and lower and hover, hover, hover. Beautiful. And bend your knees into your chest. Really nice. Come on up with your legs. Straight knees. Spread those toes, please. Come on down and hover, 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 and bend, please. Really nice, come on up, and again, hover, 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 really nice, bend. Let's do the opposite way, skim the floor with your legs, skim and come on up. Now again, if your back is feeling any pain, just please place your hands underneath your lower back. Really nice, go ahead and bend your knees, skim the floor, and come on up. Really nice, bend your knees, skim the floors, come on up. 
Nice, and bend and skim the floor. Hold, 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 and come on up. And then bend and skim. Really nice. Come on up with your legs. Beautiful work. Hug your knees, please. Go ahead and straighten your left leg, please, onto the ground and give your right knee a big hug. Go ahead and interlace your right big toe and go ahead and bring your right foot up to the sky or you can grab a belt and go ahead and put the belt over your right foot. And like Lisa's doing, grounding your left thigh with your left hand is fine to anchor that thigh. Feel free to use a belt or if this is, if you don't have a belt, grab your foot, or grab your shin or calf. Beautiful. Now from here, let's go ahead and just bring our nose up to our knee using our abdominals. Hold, 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 and go ahead and slowly lower down. Rest. Reach that heel up to the sky. This is really good for back pain. Reach your right heel away from your pelvic region and reach your left heel away from your pelvic region. Anchoring your whole left leg. Come on up. Nose to knee. Come on up. Hold. Beautiful work. Hold. Nice, Lisa. I love how you're anchoring that left thigh down with your hand. And slowly roll down. And then again, come on up. Again, this is a core workout. Beautiful. Now from here, let's go ahead and bring that right foot out to the side and extend, just getting some, some space in that lower. This is really good for your back. This is also an insomnia pose. If you're feeling like you can't sleep at night, this, is, this'll, this pose itself will help you sleep. Really extend your heel away from your, away from your pelvis. Breathing deeply. Really nice. Come back up. Let's do nose to knee again. Come on up. Hold, 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 beautiful. And then slowly release down, release that leg. And let's go ahead and hug the left knee into the chest. And if you can interlace your big toe, go ahead and interlace your big toe. And you can um, ground that right leg with your right hand. And feel free to use a belt or just grab your shin or calf. Remember to always listen to your body. And beautiful, extend the heel away from your pelvis the left heel away from your pelvis and extend the right heel away from your pelvis. Go ahead and nose to knee, come on up, hold. Relax those shoulders, come up a little higher if you can. A little higher and slowly roll down. Beautiful, rest. And again, come on up, hold. Iron that right leg into the earth, spread those toes please. Breathe deeply, really nice and slowly. Come down one vertebrae at a time. And again, come on up, hold, 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 and then slowly come on down. Let's just bring that foot out to the side, please. And extend that heel away from you. Really nice, extend that heel, straighten that knee. Straighten both knees, please. As we age, it's very difficult to straighten the knees. This pose in itself is so great for back pain. So if you have back pain, please feel free to do this pose as often as possible, even when you wake up in the morning. And go ahead and bring the leg back up, please, nose to knee. Really nice, beautiful work. And slowly come down, release that leg, please, down to the ground. Hug your knees into your chest. Really nice, and then from here, we're gonna slowly roll onto our right side and come into child's pose. Come on up and just relax into child's pose. Your knees are far, uh, far apart or together, you choose. Yogi's choice today. And then from here, you can stretch your arms forward or your arms by your side, whatever feels good to you. And also some people really like using a block for their forehead. You can rest on a, on a block for your forehead. Just relax, let go, relax, relax your shoulders, release your jaw, release the buttocks, the thighs, the shins, the calves, the feet and toes. Go back to the breath. So often we spend most of our time from the neck up Yoga gives us the opportunity to focus from the neck down to connect with our bodies. So go ahead and stretch your arms forward and come on up into cat cow. 
Spread your fingers wide, please, and go ahead and look up. We're going to go into cow, look up to the sky, and then cat. Curl, 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 and then look up, cow. And you can either be on the tops of the feet or the toes, you choose. And then go ahead and come into cat. Nice, and then look up. And then belly into the spine, come into cat. Spine neutral, and let's come into downward dog, please. Go ahead and bring the, the buttocks up to the sky, away from your wrists. If you need to bend your knees, feel free to bend your knees. If you can straighten your legs, please do so. And feel free to pedal out your knees like Lisa's doing. Nice, pedal it out. Nice, nice Lisa. Nice Christian. Beautiful, just pedal it out. Loosening up. And relax your head, shake out your head. Do a little bit of a yes and a no with your head. To release it, let it go. Like a ripe fruit about to fall off a tree. Let it go. And gently bring your knees down onto the mat and bring your right foot between your hands. And let's go ahead and bring the hands to the right thigh. Really nice. And then from here, let's go ahead and interlace the fingertips and reach the arms up to the sky. You can either be on your toes of your left foot or on the tops of, top of your foot. You choose, yogi's choice. Look up to the sky, lift the back ribs, lift the side ribs, breathe deeply, always ground, root to rebound. Ground your right foot, ground your left knee, reach up even higher so you have a really beautiful long spine. A lot of my clients have grown a half an inch or an inch as they age with yoga because it takes that, it decompresses the spine and creates more space between each individual vertebrae. Beautiful, bring your hands down to your right foot and just straighten your back leg like you're running a race. Reach your heart forward, please, and your left leg back. Breathe, long inhalations, long spine. Remember, root to rebound, ground your right foot, ground your left toes, and ground your left hand onto the ground and reach your right hand up to the sky. A little bit of a twist here. Ground your left arm and reach your right fingertips even higher up to the heavens. Let's see if we can get some more space in our heart center. Long, reach your heart away from your pelvis. Breathe deeply. Really nice. Again, straighten that back knee. Ground that right foot. Reach those fingertips even higher. Really nice, bring that right hand back down. Gently drop your left knee down onto the ground and come into child's pose. Rest deeply. You can bring your arms by your side or your arms straight out and you can go ahead and rest your head on a, on a block if you choose. Or you can bring the block lower down and just rest. Just take a big inhale and a big exhale. In yoga, we, we always inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Go ahead and stretch your arms forward for another downward dog. So stretch your arms forward, come on up, and let's go ahead and go into a downward dog. Bend your knees if you need to, and let's go ahead and pedal out those knees if you'd like. Now for those of you who have straight legs, and are not pedaling, work those thighs away from you. Work those thighs away from your face, front of the thigh, into the back of the thigh. Breathe deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations. If downward dog is too much for you, honor your body and come back to child's pose, please. And then gently come down onto your knees and bring your left foot between your hands. Bring your hands onto your front thigh. Again, lift that lower belly. Udhyana Bandha, and let's go ahead and reach the fingertips up to the sky, and remember root to rebound. So ground your left foot, please, ground your right knee, lift the back ribs and the side ribs, and look up to the heavens. Breathe deeply, honor yourself. If it's too much to be on your toes, come onto the tops of your foot, whatever feels right for you. If it's too much to lift your arms, just keep your hands on your left thigh, Always respect yourself. Breathe and listen to that small, still inner voice. Breathe deeply. Follow your intuition. Long inhalations and long exhalations. 
Beautiful. And then bring your hands to your left foot. Reach your right leg straight like you're running a race. Reach your heart forward, please. Nice work. Breathe deeply. Ground your right hand. Bring your left hand up to the sky. The dristier the gaze is up at your left thumb. Beautiful. Ground your right hand and bring your left hand even higher to create space in the heart center. Really nice. Ground the left foot. Ground your right toes. Breathe deeply. Long spine. Again, root to rebound. Reach those fingertips even higher up to the heavens. Really nice. And drop your right knee down. Beautiful. Come back into child's pose. And rest. And just let go. Breathe deeply. And go ahead and reach your arms forward again. Stretch your arms forward. Come onto your hands and knees. Again, downward dog. Come into downward dog. Breathe deeply. Work those thighs back. Pedal out your knees if you'd like to. Again, work those thighs back so you can have a really nice spine. Open up the backs of the knees. Come onto your knees, please. Bring your right foot between your hands again. And then from here, hands onto your front thigh. Beautiful. And interlace your fingertips up to the sky. And look up. Breathe deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations. See if you can reach your hands even higher up to the heavens to get a longer spine. Root to rebound. Bring your hands in prayer at your heart, please. Bring your left elbow onto your right knee and twist. Breathe deeply. Bring your thumb close to your sternum. Just twist here. Now, some of you may want to come onto your back toes and straighten your back leg. Your choice. Breathe deeply. If it's too much for you, stay in the first pose. But if you want to try to straighten your back leg, it's a balancing issue. So if you're uncomfortable with that, Please just stay in the first pose. Breathe deeply. Look up to the sky as you twist a little deeper. Beautiful. Gently drop that knee back down. Reach your hands up to the sky. Shoulder width apart. Look up. Do a little bit of a back bend here. Bring your right knee forward and your fingertips back. Bring your hands in prayer. Nice work. Come into child's pose. And rest. Let go. Take one big inhale and one big exhale. Go ahead and stretch your arms forward. Walk your fingertips away from your pelvis. Again, a yummy long spine, open shoulders. Come onto your hands and knees and let's do downward dog again. Reach the buttocks up. You can even come onto your tippy toes and lift your heels. Lift your heels up. Beautiful. Ground your heels. You can lift your heels again and ground your heels. Work those legs back. If you need to bend your knees, always honor yourself. Bring your knees down to the ground. Bring your left foot forward, please. Bring your hands onto your left thigh and go ahead and interlace your fingertips up to the sky. Reach up. Breathe deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Reach your spine even higher up out of your pelvic region. Reach your palms even higher up to the heavens. Ground your left foot in your right knee. Beautiful. Bring your hands in prayer. And go ahead and bring your right elbow onto your left knee. And go ahead and look up and do a little bit of a twist here. See if your thumbs can be close to your heart center, to your sternum. Breathe deeply. For those that are comfortable, can straighten their back leg. Breathe deeply, you choose. Long inhalations and long exhalations. This may be a balancing issue. If it's a balancing issue, drop the knee down and just stay in this pose and see if you can twist a little deeper. Nice work. Breathing long inhalations and long exhalations. Long spine in the twist, please. And then go ahead and come out of that. And let's reach our arms up to the sky. Do a little bit of a back bend here, left knee forward, look back, beautiful, nice work, hands in prayer, let's go right into child's pose, rest, take a big inhale and a big exhale, 
and then walk your hands forward. Come onto your hands and knees. Go ahead and bring your knees together. And from here, bring your right leg back, heart forward, right leg back. And then knee to nose, curl, hold, curl. Work those abs, curl, and kick it out, look up. Heart forward, leg back. Knee to nose, curl, 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 and kick it out. Heart forward, leg back. Beautiful, knee to nose, curl, 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 and kick it out. Really nice, knee to nose, curl, 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 and kick it out. And knee to nose, curl, 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 and kick it out. Let's do the other side. Bring your right knee down, left leg back. Reach your heart forward. Really nice. Knee to nose, curl, 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 kick it out. We want space in that lower back. Reach that foot back. Knee to nose, hold, 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 kick it out. Really nice. Knee to nose, hold, 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 kick it out. And knee to nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. And go ahead and drop that knee down. Come into child's pose. Let go. Relax deeply. You can have your arms forward or your arms by your side. Breathe deeply. Stretch your arms forward. Come onto your hands and knees. Really nice work. Let's go into downward dog. Work those legs back. Let's go ahead and bring the right leg up and then bring the knee to your nose. Hold, come into a partial plank, hold, 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 kick it out. And again, knee to nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. And then knee to nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. And other side, left leg up. And if you can't do it, just bend as much as you can towards your nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. Knee to nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. And knee to nose, hold, 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 and kick it out. Really nice, drop your legs down into downward dog. And from here, we're just gonna go into a seated sitting position. Come down into a seated position with your legs straight out in front of you, please. Really nice work, cup your fingertips behind your buttocks. Lift your belly, lift your heart. Really nice long spine, reach. Beautiful, reach your arms up to the sky. Look up at your thumbs, lift up a little higher, iron your right leg and your left leg into the earth, and come forward. Really nice, if you need to use a belt, feel free to use a belt. If you wanna bend your knees, feel free to bend your knees. Always honor yourself, listen to your body. Just go to your own intuitive place. If it's too much for you, always back off. Remember, less is always better. We don't want to injure ourselves in yoga. Always listen to your own body. Really nice. And then from here, let's go ahead and just rest on our backs. Really nice. Bend your knees. Bend your right knee and your left knee. And then from here, lift your buttocks, please. Bring your knees away from your face, and then just gently lower down one vertebrae at a time. And then lift up again, please. Beautiful, bring your knees away from your face, and then gently lower down. If it's too much for your lower back, please don't come up so high. And then come on up again. And from here, clasp your hands underneath your back and roll your shoulders underneath your body. Really nice, opening up your heart, ground your right foot, ground your left foot. Really nice, roll your shoulders underneath your body, even more, bringing that, that upper thoracic vertebrae into the body. Relax your face, really bring your knees away from your face to protect your lower back. And then gently roll down. And then from here, hug your knees. Give yourself a big hug. And then from here, let's go ahead and drop the both knees, stacking them over to the right. Look to the left. If you want to take your right hand over your knee, onto your knees, and go for a deeper twist, feel free to do so. 
and just start to slow down, slow down your breath, slow down your practice. Really nice work. We started out with our abs and then we went into a nice slow flow vinyasa with some nice gentle movements. Really nice. Come back to center, hug your knees and go ahead and drop your knees out to the left and look over to the right. And go ahead and twist and you can place your hand onto your knee for a deeper twist. And as your knees are to the left, you can gaze over to the right. This is really nice after back bends, really nice. And twists are really nice after working the core. Twists are really nice after, uh, to end a yoga practice. Just takes all that compression out of your lower back. And then gently come on up and hug your knees. Give yourself a big hug, please. And then from here, go ahead and straighten your right leg and your left leg out. Palms open to the sky. Just close your eyes, please, for Shavasana. Corpse pose. Get really comfortable. Find symmetry between the right and left side of the body. Make any micro movement adjustments that you need to make to get really comfortable here. This is one of the most important poses in yoga, is relaxation. Especially today in our fast-paced world, it's really important to, do re to have rest, to make time for rest. Close your eyes, please. Close your eyelids as if there were shades being closed over your window. Close the shades from top to bottom, your eyelids. And just release your lower jaw from your upper jaw. Soften your shoulders and your arms, your hands and fingers. With every breath, feel the rise and fall of your belly, the expansion and contraction of your ribs. And just relax your legs, your feet, and your toes. And just surrender. Let go. Just surrender into the earth and stay here for as long as you would like for a beautiful, deep, deep relaxation. Just relax deeply and I just want to say thanks so much for joining us on Yoga for All Ages. I'm Susan Foxley and if you have any questions about yoga, life coaching, or today's show, feel free to contact me at foxleyyoga.com and remember you guys always, always, always go where the love is. Namaste.